Most likely you have your chart looking like this, just the grid here. I'm on the uh, fourth option on the top, on the left hand bar. One of the first one says watch list. The second one says stocks. Third one says markets. So I'm on stocks right now. It, most likely you have your grid looking like this. If you want to change it, you have to go to grids right here and then you have two charts, right? Or you can have four charts right there. So now we have AMC on this side. Let's move to GME. And now one more. Usually we have a guest space here. So let me see if I can let me see if I can uh, get out of here. Okay, so this guest space today. What do you guys think? Super League Gaming uh, or Tesla? Vote for your, the ticker of your choice. It doesn't really. We're not going to do much analysis on it just yet. We're just still setting up Weeble right now. So, uh, so if you guys want to drop your ticker symbols in, this, in the live chat, let me hear them. Uh, and everyone else who just wants to learn about Weeble, drop some scissors in the chat. What's going on here? New today, new version. Yeah, it's it's. Well, we're we're learning. We're building. We're we're getting newer. Okay, this computer is actually starting to heat up. Whoops. Uh oh. Let's see. Oh yeah, so if someone already says uh, solo. Okay, let's do solo. Solo. It's Electra Mechanica Vehicles Core. Okay, it doesn't matter. Okay, so we have AMC here, we have GME here, and we have a fourth slot that my head is blocking, and now we need some indicators. So in order to get your indicators, take your hand and take your mouse, right? And then go ahead and slam that like button, right? It's the first step. Next step is to make sure that you have already subscribed, right? And hit that bell button. And then what you need to do is you need to go to this bar right here. We have chart, options, note, news, financials. Look right below at this ribbon and their first little bar, little option here is indicators, okay? The first option we have is MA, the moving average, the Bollinger Bands, VWAP, MACD. Let's add those to so the Bollinger Bands here. The VWAP here, and then the MACD here, right? And then we obviously want the RSI. And if you guys don't mind it getting a little too crowded, you can add the volume as well. So this is why I usually don't uh, have the Bollinger Bands on because it is does make it really, really ugly. Let's take them off for now. And then you want to be able to edit these indicators because just like Trey, the two of us use very specific moving averages. So for this uh, moving average, we're gonna use the 15 day moving average. Just doing a quick tutorial on Weeble, and then we're going to go right into the uh, how to set up your actual blah blah blahs, okay? Uh, and then we're going to do the exponential moving average, right? Look at the first one. And this first one, we're going to do the 200 day uh, exponential moving average. There, boom. So that's 200. Tyler Hilliard, thank you for the super. Uh, is there a promo code on Weeble for the free stocks? Yeah, it's in the, this, it's in the description, right? Down there or pinned in the live chat. So either one of those will work. Uh, take your pick, choose your poison. Am I zoomed? Am I focused in? Let me fall sleeping. Okay, so we got the exponential moving average. Make sure to click it, right? Those of you who have already used the link in the description, go ahead and uh, grab those two free stocks. Aw, and Chicken Nuggets says, don't forget to subscribe, bell button, and eat a meatball. If you guys saw me eat the uh, meatball sandwich, that was for Trey uh, and his part in buying, uh, donating to the cause. Okay, so what else do we have here? Nothing else. So in that sense, everything else is a little bit to the wayside, not as important as uh, what we have already here. So now what we have is this purple line is the exponential moving average it gives us a macro sense of what the stock's momentum is. And the blue line here that follows very closely to the price is the simple moving average. All right. Overall, we want to be able to see volume make a big player. That's why we have it, uh, two different indicators on volume. We have the actual volume down here. We have the relative strength index here uh, gives a sense of momentum here. And then the volumetric uh, weighted average price which is kind of like a gut check of like, well, if the price is not is deviating from the VWAP, that means that there's going to be a correction soon for normal technical analyses. All right, so now we've set up our Weeble. Oh no, but the other charts don't look the same. Also, if you guys do not yet have after hours enabled, you can hold on, go all the way down here for EXT at the bottom of your chart. 
and auto. You can turn this off if you want to be able to move your chart uh, uh, without automatically changing its axes uh, or extend, extended off, uh, hours to show both pre-market and after hour information. Okie doke. So now, but hold on, Andrew. My indicators, they're not the same across all four of my charts. So in that case, what we're going to do is we're going to go to, uh, let's see, can I go back to grid? And now you can sync the kinds of indicators that you want right here through all charts. If I press uh, indicators, all of these are now showing the exact same indicators, right? You can even uh, sync them on time. Now that kind of it's a little tricky because sometimes I want to be able to work independently uh, and still focus up on AMC and GME and not mess them up. So I'm not going to sync anything else other than the indicators. And look, your Weeble is now completely set up. And that took about five minutes. Five